Hey gang, Mandlam CB here at FX Link, and thank you for joining us on our trade review videos. As always, we are going to take a look at some of the trades that we put out on Sunday market prep video. And on the end of the video, we will be discussing the lessons that we took from the trades that have unfolded from our analysis. levels of structure would be quite interesting as I go to my lower time frame right here they will give me a pretty good level where I'll be looking for a potential shorting opportunity right so as we get to the lower time frame or uh, on our one hour time frame what I'll be paying a close attention to is my RSI so if price does uh, actually come come closer to these levels of resistance right the best scenario is if price does come to these levels of resistance i'll be paying closer a closer look on my rsi hoping that price could give me an overbought state so i can set myself up for a shooting opportunity right and as you see as i take my fibonacci tool from this swing high okay to the swing low you would notice that i get a 618 retracement at these resistance levels right here and a 382 retracement at these support levels right there so let me narrow this down now as i take my fibonacci extension tool okay from this swing low right here to this swing high right here you would notice that our 1618 aligns with our 618 retracement and our 50% retracement aligns with that 127 extension okay so ever since I get a Fibonacci confluence right here I will personally be looking for selling a selling opportunity over to here over at this zone and particularly this selling opportunity would set me up for a reduced risk to reward ratio right I will be looking for a much more risk to reward, a uh, much better risk to reward, particularly a one is to two. If I enter on that 50% retracement, that's if price does come over there, then I will be setting myself up for a shorting opportunity in anticipation of a next bearish move to these levels of support. So hey gang thank you for joining me here on our trade review videos um please excuse my voice i think i caught a little bit of of a cold earlier today and don't be surprised when my voice is a little bit scratchy okay now get into business um as we did our analysis as you've seen the video back you would see that we had our lower low lower close over this point and i actually had my kill zone coming over here okay the reason why i always look for pullbacks actually i always the reason why i always look for deeper pullbacks is the the is mainly for the reason of risk to reward okay many of the professional traders have risk to rewards that look something like this on a consistent basis okay so if you have either they would have a risk to reward that's something like this let me take this out excuse me guys either they would have a risk to reward that's something like this which symbolize a one is to one a risk to reward meaning that for every one dollar that you risk on a particular trade you will get one dollar back uh, in terms of reward okay or uh, some traders may might look for a scenario that's something like this okay either they will be looking for a scenario that's something like this meaning that for every trade that they 
uh, for every one dollar that they risk, they will be looking for uh, catching that. Meaning that for every one dollar that they risk, they will be looking for a return of two dollars back for a one is to two risk to reward ratio. Okay, particularly. I'm a trader that's like that. For every one dollar I risk, I would at least be looking for 1.5 reward back. But most of the times I'm looking for a one is to two, two times the reward for any risk I take on a particular trade. Okay? In this case, I was looking for a pullback back into structure, which is somewhere right here right somewhere right here okay and to be more precise as you have seen on the video i actually looked for a retest optimally a retest over to these highs so i can have the best risk to reward ratio as possible okay and as you have seen um on a on throughout the week as the market unfolded the market did something like this oh the market was something like this as it op as it closed on friday okay so as it as it unfolded it became uh, more clear we saw a process of a pullback the market kept down so there might be a deeper pullback but we don't know yet okay okay market did something like this gave us what let me delete all these guys and as you see as i put a line on my low over right here the market kind of gave us what a lower low lower close right over right here and as the market keeps making lower low lower close that gives us a sign of what a trend continuation move on either side of the market in this case we have a lower low lower close meaning that we would have a bearish continuation that's a sign um, as the market pulled back it gave us another lower low lower close right and as you see at this point right the market kept on going further and further and further away from our kill zone, right? Now, some traders would be looking for chasing the market, meaning that, oh, the market is making lower, lower, lower close. And I know that if the market does make a lower, lower, lower close, it signals a bearish continuation. I don't have the stomach of waiting for a deeper pullback to my kill zone what i would do is i would look for a smaller pullback and what tends to happen is that let's say they see a lower 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 close the market closes right here okay and they have their pullback they uh they potentially buy they sell actually over here with stops higher than this high okay and targets probably over to these levels of structure okay so and that's okay and that's particularly dangerous for for many traders especially beginning traders why am i saying that i say that because the habit of chasing the market might actually um blow back to your face because you start a paradigm of becoming inconsistent with your trading right most of the times it's easy to make a good call in the market meaning it's easy to make a prediction that's good in the market but if you tend to have some tendencies like that of chasing the market you would initially see that most of the times the market does come to your level of kill zone that you potentially looked looked at 
over the weekend or at first, right? And you potentially be risking um, some little amount, I hope, I hope if you put stop losses, you'll be t- potentially be looking to risk some initial amount and get stopped out and see the price that came and see price came to your initial kill zone and might many traders start to doubt themselves as price does come over right here their kill zone as they got stopped out over here and they would watch price continue back to uh, their levels of support or their levels of potential targets and uh, fall, fall prey to many psychological errors okay so as you have se- as we have seen um lower lows lower close that signaled uh, a continuation on the downside so let's see the market is currently sitting at this point okay um so the main lesson on this pair was never ever fall prey to chasing a trade if you had a prediction let's say the market does uh do something like this okay we have a bullish trend in this case we have a low over here higher high higher low higher high higher low okay and as we have a bullish trend we see a potential kill zone over right here okay and we you have a uh if you are a fibonacci trader or a structure based trader you potentially want to look to buy over somewhere let's say somewhere hypothetically speaking let's say your analysis (coughs) leads you to look for a buying opportunity over right here in order for you to have a risk to reward something like this right and a reward of of this this much you put a line of that on the resistant levels right here and a reward of this much right so you see you are setting yourself up for a pretty pretty good risk to reward probably one is two three uh, one two oh oh one is to two risk to reward that's not too bad actually that's a good risk to reward for you to put yourself in right and then price does come over to these levels of structure you have your initial kill zone but you essentially want price to come over right here and price does come over to these levels of structure your potential target but it didn't hit your entry yet they see that low the higher 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 close right after seeing that higher 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 close what do they do they actually try to buy at a single worst trading opportunity ever imaginable (laughs) by trying to chase a trade right because logically speaking if you want to buy at a little pullback like that uh you'd have to have stops below this low right and targets at that recent resistant level right there so you end up having a an inverse risk to reward that's something like this and that's not a good risk to reward ratio you want to put yourself in a position of on a consistent basis because that would require you to have a high winning percentage level so you can sustain so you can actually end up profitable right so actually chasing the market end up and ends up hurting you rather than um rather than helping you on the on the longer term okay so the lesson here is having the patience to wait for your trades to pan out as they would 
right? And if the trade doesn't pan out as it did, then we always have many opportunities in the market, right? Let's go to...